everybody, this is the new ultrasound machine. Uh, it's called Spark, and uh, we've nicknamed it Sparky. I just want to go over some of the features that you need to know about as nursing staff. You will not be using the machine, but you may be required to uh, turn it on, turn it off, move it from place to place. So, um, first thing is, it's on right now. It's lit up and the on indicator is this button here so it is a green circle with a line through it and we are going to leave the machine on and plugged in plugged in shows that that there is a uh, like a white lightning bolt through the battery we're going to leave it on and plugged in all the time however one time in 24 hours the machine should be turned off and restarted and to turn it off, it does take two minutes to power down and another two minutes to power up. But what you're going to do is using your thumb, you're going to just press this key down and it'll turn off and then you can turn it back on. Most, I'm not going to do that now because we don't have two minutes to, for you to wait and watch me do that. So the rest of the time you're going to be, just move this little fluffy thing off of here. You're going to be seeing it lit up like that, but we're not going to be leaving it like this all the time when it's not in use. You're going to be using this button here. It looks like a moon. So when the unit is asleep, the moon is yellow. And then just to touch it, it'll come back up. If you need to clean this screen here, we advise that you touch the lock button. Okay, and then you can clean it with the hydrogen peroxide wipes in the green canister. And then you'll also get a message up here that the keyboard is locked. Just touch it again. Actually, you have to hold it and it comes back. Okay, to clean the screen, as I said in the Friday file from last week, just a damp paper towel, okay, on that. Um, the other features of this machine is that it can go up and down. And what I'm doing is I'm just squeezing these two little buttons in here and I can move it up and down. So if someone's sitting, they can put it down or up. And if you just press here, the keyboard will come out. So these are features mainly that the physicians will be using. There is one abdominal ultrasound um, probe here. We don't have the vaginal probe on here. We're thinking that it will probably be kept in the physician's call, the OBS call room. When you're going to use the machine or move it from uh, triage, you're going to unplug it. And at the back here, there's an area to loop your cords. Okay, so you don't have to unplug it from the machine. If you were going to be moving the machine, what I would suggest is that because this is an articulating arm, you don't want to be running or walking with it and having this move over. So what you're going to do is just kind of sandwich it here between your hands, click it into place, and then just push the screen down so that you can see over top of it as you're walking with it. There are some lock uh, brakes on it here. So if it was locked, the uh, rep said it's probably better just to push down the green and the red one. To unlock it, you're just going to push the gray one. And to move it, it's, a, it's on a swivel right now. So what she recommends is to put it on the green one. So it is like the fifth wheel on your on your stretcher or a steer mode and it actually moves quite easily and it steers quite well. Georgia, is there anything I have forgotten to say? I don't, oh, the, just the quick tip sheet. Thank you. So last week I attached this to the Friday file, sort of the getting started quick tip sheet for everybody and there are some sheet notes here for the physicians. Okay, and I will attach this again to the, um, I'll attach the PDF to the Friday file for this week. So I think that's everything. So the deal is that everybody needs to see this video and either write their name on a piece of paper that they've seen it and submit it to me or send me an email because it is required uh, education that you have gone over this and the video is, is good enough. Thanks.